afternoon everyone i made a lovely lovely journal using a kit from raindrop lila which is lydia and i've mixed it with some stuff from tina of shabby dabby doodah and i'm going to show you the kits like in two halves i'm going to go through um lydia's first i'll show you the journal and then go to tina's afterwards because there's quite a lot to show you now with Lila uh, Lydia what she's done is she has a 20% off at the moment you know an Easter sale and she sells her stuff in little packages so if you can't afford to buy the whole kit at once you can buy maybe one or two bits today and another bit next week you know you can build it up which is really really lovely and you can pick and choose and decide which bits you're going to use can't you so this is the spring papers this is the first bit i want to show you now this is obviously van gogh that's the irises and it's gorgeous isn't it absolutely gorgeous that beautiful blue this one is ledger but you can see it's um, been altered and it's just given it such a gorgeous, gorgeous effect. Here's Ledger again. Um, and this one hasn't got any lines on it. 1835. <laughs> oh gosh, I must have these boxed upside down. Here, you've got it on like a graph paper at the back, which I think is really nice. It gives a really gorgeous effect. And this one... If you cut this one, it's not cut this one. If you printed this on um, normal copy paper or uh, you know the, the paper, the chip shop paper that we use sometimes, it would give an amazing effect, and you could then tear it up for your clusters and um, for doing collaging. I, I just think these are really lovely, and you've got this lovely, lovely effect going through, it and it reminds me of Neapolitan ice cream. The colouring in this absolutely gorgeous. Here we have the beautiful um, dog roses, you know, the wild roses. And that's where you get your, your rose hips from, that you make your rose hip syrup. Of course, they don't let baby have rose, rose hip syrup anymore, do they? <laughs> I still love that. And I still make it. Grandkids love it. Full of vitamin C. Look how beautiful these birdies are. They're really gorgeous, aren't they? Here we've got um a tulip going on and a daisy you know got a beautiful collection of flowers but they've been done in like different tones you know this pink and this little orange coming through here you've got the, the pink paler but with like a purpley color coming through and then you've got another pastel sheet here with more of the journaling on then you get to these now what i love about these i mean these really do remind you of neapolitan ice cream you've got the extra sort of like bits where she's brought the green in with the yellow then here you've got the green the yellow and the pink and i just love these i just absolutely love these and the coloring is just absolutely amazing so that's all the papers from lydia and that's in one kit now i've labeled these so it's easier for you to understand which one's which now to get like say i think there's about four papers in each of these it's about one pound 20 at the moment which is about one one dollar fifty okay just so you have a rough idea of you know they are they are good value they really are so we've got these lovely birds again and some tags down here this is using the van gogh lily uh lime ugh, irises put my teeth back in and we've got this gorgeous bird here. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? Really beautiful. So that's the tags. That's called spring tags. Then here we have the spring coin envelopes. So you've got this one, obviously, with the beautiful wild roses on. And then you've got your Van Gogh irises again. And the birds. Um, so boxed that onto the wrong one so you've got the three envelopes separate then you've got the labels uh, so this set you can buy this 
in two parts or you can buy this as one okay um, and this is the spring labels birds and florals on here okay so if you look at the store you can see where you can get them in two separate sets so you've got these lovely lovely birdies and there's the birds again really gorgeous it looks a bit like a woodpecker the shape of that head doesn't it and then you've got your irises so the irises will be in the floral set if you wanted to do them separate and so would the uh, roses okay so you know you decide which ones you want that's what that's what i like is you can pick and choose and you can decide well I'm, I'm, i'll use that but i won't use that then we've got the spring pastel tags and these are gorgeous i just loved using these you know is this here we've got this you know from the pages you've got the green at the top and the yellow at the bottom and the yellow and the pink i really did love looking at these they've got you know and you've got this one here with the three that is so neapolitan in the ice cream that really is that one so that three there are the spring pastel tags then we've got the spring pastel labels so you've got you know you you you've got your pink your yellow your green and your, your blue and this is with that lovely um background of the journal you know the ledger now this one i was the one that i had missing when i came to, to add them all up and i just clicked print i didn't bother to look at what it was on and so of course I've knocked off the edge here because it's it was on the one where you print full page with the tick on. So, but that will be the same as that one. It was just to give you the the colouring and the fact that that's the ledger paper underneath. And the last one are the pastel labels. Okay. So again, you've got this gorgeous blue, and then you've got like this this pinky beige and the yellow and the green. And here she's used that floral paper. So that's that one. And then it's the spring ephemera kit. Now the spring ephemera kit, I had so much fun with this. Here I've printed it two to a page, but I also printed it four to a page. And all the labels I printed at two to a page and four to a page as well. So I had a big tin of all this gorgeousness that I could play with and use and it, that will last me for ages it really really will that's the full, full size obviously what it will look like if you did it on a full size and then you get these three journaling cards okay so that's the whole kit there's a lot to go through that's why i thought i'd do the, the kit separately today because otherwise you're going to be falling to sleep and that happens at a Easter weekend as it is without any encouragement from me <laughs> right so there's my journal blesser let's make sure you're in the yeah. air okay so the image on the front is from Artina and this beautiful beautiful fabric I've used on here and the lace from our dawn bibby this is Egyptian lace and it's absolutely stunning um, this tassel wasn't actually made for this journal but it does marry it up really well so i put it on there just for photos and i'll actually make a tassel for this later so let me just undo the sari silk oops that's gotten knotty knot right let's make sure you're in screen okay there we go okay now i've used a book this time it's not often i actually use a book cover but you can actually hear that's the book cover underneath there um, so it's a little bit slightly longer and I thought well it's only a little bit longer so I'm not going to go and chop any off because it is just a tiny little bit different so um, I've, this time I've put a lot of these what I call flip out journaling cards you know they're like a normal birthday card but you can then journal in these I've put a, quite a few of those in there um, this one and a couple of the other images are that songbird kit again from Norella Calico Collage um, I used them yesterday and, there's, and you can really see how gorgeous those birds are can't you absolutely beautiful and then in here I've, I've this is one of Tina's and I've used one of the labels from Lydia and there's the Van Gogh 
and this stencil is from um, Linda Israel that's the Bella Rose stencil that I've used and all this gorgeous gorgeous uh, lace comes from Dawn Bibby there's one of the um, envelopes and all the envelopes have got journaling cards inside I usually put uh, paper in but this time I decided I was going to put journaling cards in them on how amazing is that there from Tina really beautiful isn't it and then the way this marries up is so beautiful if you're looking at the colour of Tina's and you look at the colour of Lydia's they just it, it was as if the two kits were made for one another it really was they come together perfectly um, and I put a lot of flip out birdie pickies in which I really loved doing yeah this is Tina so these now what I've done did with the tags like I normally do is I've done them at two sizes so you've got this is the smaller size and that's the bigger size and that's what I've done throughout and I've put a bit of lace underneath that one and that's that label there is where I've printed the bigger labels at four times small you know four to a page which fits really well on and look at this bird here does that bird not fit perfectly with the birds at the beginning you know and fit Lydia's kit absolutely amazingly really stunning these little birdies here they fit really well this here is her calico collage and then I'm gonna slide that one out this is one of the Van Gogh so where I printed some of the labels really small I popped them on and there are some tags these tiny tiny tags come from the kit that I used last time from Lydia and when you print them at four to a page you get these tiny wee tag uh, top you know the the, the oh gosh tabs and so I've popped them on there and they just fitted perfectly they really did I was tickled pink with that when they fitted on there they just look so nice and then here I love this tag from uh, Tina there's two of these in there and I, I'd, I'd actually got myself some of the bigger um, eyelets I've not used the big ones before so I've got some of the bigger eyelets from we are memory keepers and that's the one with the rose hip on and that's the birdie one because I've doubled that up again and that's one of the labels from the last kit I used as well and that like the woody woodpecker and there are the little woodpeckers and you can see if you look at the shape of this head it really is very similar to the um, tags and the images aren't they they look really similar to that bird so that, that's your Van Gogh and I thought this stencil went so well with that one uh, this was in the March no February kit this one that stencil which I'll link below and there's uh, the Van Gogh one again I've actually wrote some of the words out on the computer and printed them off to make some labels I've actually got Van Gogh written on that one and all of these come out um, the little tiny little tabbies on the front and there's a couple more in there I don't want to take too long because there's nothing worse than a really long <laughs> uh, flip through look at that image there from Tina isn't it stunning absolutely beautiful but look at the way that color there again with that Neapolitan page the one that I really love how the colors match absolutely perfectly there's no way I couldn't have put these together, you know. Um, and here I've made little tucky spots on there. This is one of Tina's um, pockets. She's got a few different pockets, different sizes. Here I've, I'm trying to use uh, stickers, as you know, this these couple of weeks because Tracy had said to use something you don't normally use. And I found these cute, cute little owl ones. I've stuck them in there. And this is some of the wording that I printed off off the computer you know I just sat there and typed a few bits out and that's the Van Gogh again and again here you know I've, I've typed that one's got spring on it just it just came together beautifully this I was actually sat yesterday popping all the, all the ephemera back in you know where you finally get to that stage we've done all your ephemera 
and you just sit there and you glue it all in and I was doing that yesterday afternoon and I thought oh I'm absolutely loving this I really am and look at the colour there of that J that just matches up with here so beautifully and with the colouring of uh, Tina's doesn't it I just absolutely love this I was actually watching a film yesterday that's the other label in that big label I think we've got a stuck one. There we are. And that's got a different birdie on it. I love these big uh, grommets. I think they're absolutely lovely. I really do. I'm going to be using more of them. And you see how this marries up with Lydia's so perfectly. Yeah, I was watching a series yesterday. It's a brand new series. And Ollie out of, what's the group called? Gone out of my head. I'll remember later. It's about when AIDS arrived in the world and it was so beautifully made it really was and it you know it was really poignant that they've done it now you know with covid coming out when covid first arrived none of us knew what we were heading into did we none of us had a clue what was happening we didn't know how it was transmitted and this was the thing with aids when it first came out nobody knew where it came from nobody knew how it was transmitted and um you know the story about you know when when this last she's gone into the to help one of the one of the her friends and she's scrubbing and scrubbing herself and she wears rubber gloves to go into his flat and she's making him things to eat because he's so ill and you know it it so reminds me of what we've gone through now. And that was 40 years ago that that happened. Yeah, I've got pop cherry blossom in that one. You know, and it, it, it was good to watch to remind us what we went through there. So, I mean, we got through that. and It's just a word now, isn't it? AIDS is just a word. It's not, you know, nobody's frightened of it now. Whereas then, you know, it was really scary. Oh, ladies. I think it was 84. So it's not white 40 years but nearly look at that lovely lovely image from our Norella absolutely stunning I just loved doing this I really did the colours just matched absolutely perfectly and I've had this kit of Tina's I brought it oh, right about Christmas I think it might even have been earlier than that and I've been wanting to use it for a long long time and I thought I've got to find you know I just thought do I don't I do I go another way with it but it was perfect. It's just really, really made this whole journal amazingly. And there's some more little tiny, tiny tabs on there. It's so pretty, isn't it? I really do need to find somewhere to sell these journals because I'm getting moved out of house. You know, there's not much room left for me to fit things in. There's that little woodpecker type birdie on there. And he's got some little bits of tabby on too and this is the ephemera this ephemera is lovely isn't it really really lovely so as you can see i really loved doing that little cold tip there absolutely love making this i really did it was just so soft and so pretty and here this particular pocket was huge <laughs> so what I've done is I've actually folded it in half over both sides of the page so I could then stick a tag in there and another little taggy in there <laughs> it was like gosh that's so big so I just bent him over get him over there um, you know I, it's lovely isn't it really really lovely and there's another one of those tags that I've put some more lace and that on the back so there's my gorgeous journal that I really, really love doing. Um, and that's using Tina's and Lydia's combined. Now, this is Tina's kit. I'll go through quickly because this is huge. And, you know, the main thing is, is I, I'm doing Lydia's uh, DT, aren't I? Not this one. So I'm going to go through quite quickly so you can see it. But it's a beautiful, beautiful kit very very soft and pale you know it's very Tina isn't it very very Tina 
and I've just absolutely loved doing this. I love this as a belly band. I really do. These as belly bands. So, so beautiful. And the thing is with this is, because there's so much in here, not only could you get a complete journal from it, but you could use it in anything else. You know, I mean, these papers, look at them. And what I love about these is, if you print this on normal paper, not on card, you can use this for collaging. This would make the most beautiful collages. And can you imagine printing this onto tissue paper? You know when you get your serviettes, your napkins, and you peel them apart? If you peel them apart and you've got the one layer, if you tape that, you know, a little bit of sellotape, onto a carrier sheet, make sure it's the same size as the paper underneath, you could then print that onto tissue. And then imagine, you know, you're going to be making your own napkins to make do collaging with. And I think that would be incredible, wouldn't it? Because, you know, these images really are spectacular. But if you look at this here as well, the way that's written, and then you think of, of Lydia's, the way the papers she's got that similar effect going on underneath it was as if the pair of them had sat down and did this these kits together it really was i was just you know every time i was picking up something else i thought gosh that looks like that and that looks like that you know really really stunning uh oh that's when when we were printing with belly bands <laughs> you remember when the printers all went haywire for a week um so that's just a spare bit that's in there i think that's actually two pockets underneath there i've obviously not realized that's amongst my card um mine has only just reset back to printing properly you know where we had the we're going to print belly bands we're not going to print the middle bit of your paper <laughs> and those are the labels from our lovely denise Seatles. um really gorgeous i love those labels as well but yeah so my printer is finally behaving itself where i can go back now to start doing printing of you know two to a page or four to a page because you don't realize how much you waste when you are trying to resize it so you're going to resize your kit down and the amount that you you know waste so say for example this page here i did that half size you can only print that bit and then all that's wasted you know so i'm so grateful that we finally can print properly again yay <laughs> anyway tomorrow um the lovely lovely zern has made a kit and i'm going to give you a sneak peek and it's a pansy pocket okay and this is her um, make, okay? This is the challenge for this month from Paulette and Zern, okay? Now, Paulette isn't actually designing um, these for the next two months because she's moving, okay? So it's Zern that actually did all the work in this, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I really love this, so I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek, and this will be in store late tonight tomorrow but it's an accordion look can you see it's an accordion <laughs> how fun is that it's just brilliant isn't it it's, it's an accordion and I, I just love that you know so you've got gorgeous gorgeous images and you've got enough to decorate both sides of your journal and then you've got a flippy out here as well absolutely wonderful so i'll be doing that video tomorrow showing you how to put it together it's very easy and straightforward to put together it's not not rocket science at all but it is so lovely and if you do that if you buy that kit make it and then put pictures into paulette's group you then get extras that go with the kit so you can make even more okay and i will show you that tomorrow so thank you so much for being us here this afternoon i have been out today i went to the post office um and it was incredible. The amount of people I saw today that I haven't seen for such a long time, it was unreal. But the weather, it, you could actually feel the sun starting to come out. We've not seen sun up here in Scotland for such a long time. It's unbelievable. So when I came in, I uh, grabbed the cat and I took him downstairs and I showed him out the door. And that was it. He was off. He's been sat on the doorstep out there 
for the last three hours sunning himself having a whale of a time he just absolutely loves that he loves sun <laughs> so he's having a sunny sunny day today it is starting to warm up a bit and i'm hoping by tomorrow that the kids can all have a lovely time in their gardens you know for easter sunday because you know it's so hard on the kids keep being stuck in doors all the time isn't it you know they need to have that run around you know i mean i was the eldest of six kids so you know we had a park it was about 10 minutes walk away and i used to take my brothers and sisters up there and it was a lovely lovely wee park and it was lovely to go out go on the swings and the slides and what have you have some time up there and i don't know but you you slept so much better you felt so much better for it being able to go out don't you when you've been out in the sun and you've had a walk around um i also delivered all the smp leaf leaflets <coughs> excuse me because we've got our election coming uh next month here i think it's the fourth fourth of may i'm sure it is um, so I help to deliver some of our leaflets around Burnfoot and I started that this morning as well. So I've not just walked down and up Fraser Avenue. I've been into every doorstep <laughs> and I've got the rest of the estate to do as well. So it'll do me the world of good to get me back out and try and get me a bit fitter because you really do feel it, don't you? After being indoors all this time. You really feel it from not being able to go out and walk and do the things that we used to do. So that's enough blathering. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. I hope you love this and you'll go and support our Lydia because that kit is amazing. I love the pastels and I keep thinking, oh, I can use it on that. I can use it on that. I can use it on that. And in fact, um, Cara has a kit coming out Monday. There is a premiere Monday and it's a rainbow kit and the, so obviously you know each page has got a different color of the rainbow and i was thinking how amazing to use those tags in there because you've got so many colors of the rainbow in there and all those little labels i've cut out i'll be using as well so it's i'm gonna really really make a good use of that so thank you guys thank you for being here have an amazing easter sunday tomorrow I hope you all managed to get to see somebody in your family if you celebrate Easter. Um, you know, I mean, I've still not seen the granddaughters, you know, part of life. <coughs> Up here, you can now go outside and see two other adults, um, but it has to be outside. In England, it's six other adults outside. So theirs is slightly different from ours. Um, up here we seem to be have a bit stronger you know a bit stricter they are with us up here <laughs> they obviously know what the um, young Scottish lads are like when they're let loose <laughs> so thank you for being here everyone got a tickle in my throat <coughs> thank you for being everyone I hope you enjoyed the journal and hopefully I'll find somewhere to sell these at some side <laughs> love and blessings everyone bye